one thing we weren't able to convince New Zealand beekeepers to do or not do is around experimenting with their hives. So there's lots of treatments around and lots of things you can do to control Varroa. And New Zealand beekeepers, I'm not sure what it is, but whether they have to believe in something before they use it. And we get at situations where people feel like put an organic treatment in, and in the autumn when it's vital you control row levels, and then go on holiday and expect all their hives to be alive when they come back. And we've had beekeepers who've lost thousands of dollars by doing that. And the two things, uh, two situations at least, is that you have to make sure that they worked. So if you're working, you have to do sampling. And if you're trying something new, whether it's ventilated floorboards or a new treatment, no matter what the manufacturers say, try it first on about 10 hives and see if it works. And ventilated floorboards are a really good example. Because although ventilated floorboards, and we've talked about it, are useful for giving some varroa control, they have other effects on the hives, of course. It's going to be much cooler and more difficult for the bees to keep their uh, brood nest warm. So rather than buying enough for 2,000 hives, buy enough for 10 hives. You can do this before you've got Varroa. Try them out, see how it affects your beekeeping, and then decide whether you want to go and buy enough for 2,000 hives. So the, the rule we like to give is don't, exper don't experiment with more hives than you're prepared to lose.